Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. The KL High Court ruled on Monday that Datuk Sri Muhammad Niza Jamaluddin is the rightful Perak Menteri Besar and not Barisan Nationals Datuk Sri Dr. Zamri Abdul Kadeh. In an immediate response, Zamri said he would apply for a stay pending appeal but was rejected by the court. In his ruling, Justice Abdul Aziz Abdul Rahim says that a new Menteri Besar could not be appointed as the office had not been vacated. He says the only way Niza can be dismissed, he adds, is through a vote of no confidence in the House. He adds that the Menteri Besar can request for the State Assembly to be dissolved in the middle of a term without losing the confidence of the majority of the House. The Barisan National says it will appeal against the High Court ruling. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak says the appeal will be filed on Tuesday. In the meantime, he urges the people of Perak to remain calm while the situation is resolved. Pakatan Rakyat is, however, adamant that there is no situation. Speaking to reporters outside the courtroom, Datuk Sri Muhammad Niza Jamaluddin says he is pleased with the court decision. Saya, saya mengambil kesempatan ini untuk ucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada seluruh rakyat yang telah berdoa dan memberikan sokongan tak kira bangsa, agama, latar belakang yang telah memberikan penghormatan dan sokongan kepada Pakatan Rakyat. Sesungguhnya keputusan hari ini adalah keputusan yang memberikan suasana yang elok untuk demokrasi supaya rakyat negeri Perak hari ini dan juga rakyat Malaysia tahu berkenaan dengan keluhuran perlembagaan dan kedaulatan undang-undang. Niza says that all previous decisions made by the Dr. Zamri administration will be subject to review but not invalidated except for the except for the chaotic May 7th sitting. He also suspended the state legal advisor with immediate effect. Health Minister Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai says the number of road transport department academy trainees in the Melaka Hospital for suspected meningitis has increased to 31 on Monday from 20 the day before. He adds that all of them are in stable condition and the situation is under control. Two trainees are still in the hospital's intensive care unit while the rest are in the isolation ward after showing symptoms of the suspected meningitis. He adds the patients are undergoing a cycle of treatment which takes a week. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.